as we speak to a lot of our banking partners, the risk management is a topic of the utmost interest and importance. And today I will speak about the importance of risk management in the fintech space. What's really the biggest risk that banks are facing today? Banks are facing twofold risks. One is obviously, you know, there's a tremendous amount of disruption which is being caused uh, in the bank's business, you know, the way that they approach their customers, the way that they uh, offer them loan products and other and other products out there. And the other big problem is that as more and more of the uh, business owners' data move digital, banks still don't have a good way either to capture or harvest that data. So what's at stake for these banks if they get risk wrong? So as we know, you know, we have been in a very long and a very benign credit cycle and uh, we are in ninth year of that credit cycle. The credit expansion has been happening. Uh, even if a recession doesn't come, uh, the whole economic growth cycle is going to slow down. And that's the big risk for banks because as they are making more loans, as they're extending more credit without having a sound risk management, will actually lead to a lot of pain and sorrow for them down the line. What exactly can a fintech company teach a bank about risk? Most of the fintech companies have done a very poor job with risk management and very few of them have really thought about having a very holistic approach about risk management and I'm very proud to say that we are one of the few out there. And what we have done really well are the three things. You know, We have really gone and understood what risk really means from a business owner aspect as well as from a funder aspect. What are the data sources you, which we need to look at and how we can automate it? So that includes your cash flow analysis. We have 26 million cash flow records right now, and we are adding millions and millions of records every month now. You know, we have tremendous amount of insight into their financial data, into their text data, into their uh, lean data kind of stuff, which is also a trigger kind of a data. So that gives us a tremendous amount of ability to build very smart models, and that clearly means that you know we can help banks. How is it that banks can get better at risk management in today's day and age? The key right now for banks is not the lack of resources, it's the mindset. Their mindset is still very steeped into old school. You know, they still want to control everything. They still want to have their own way of doing things. You know, a very typical example is when they're dealing with fintechs, you know, the way they do vendor management, the way they do uh, negotiation, contract negotiation, they just drag it out. They don't understand that speed and precision has to be combined. And the biggest risk is not taking a risk today. That I think is the biggest challenge that most of the banks have, because most of the bankers are risk averse. They don't want to take any kind of forward looking steps. And as I said, you know, the risk people have to become a combination of risk and technology. If they don't understand which way the technology is moving, they are gonna get into deep trouble. Uh, from my experience of working with a lot of banks across the globe, uh, some of the big takeaways is that they need to streamline their vendor management. They need to uh, stop spending uh, more time on contract negotiation than on actual product development. And they need to start taking some calculated risks. My take is that risk management is gonna become the biggest differentiator in this space. It's not gonna be technology only, it's not gonna be nimbleness. Whoever knows and manages risk the best will survive. Otherwise, as the predictions are saying, you know, more than 3,000 banks will perish in the next decade. And the FIs which will survive will be the one who have gone that extra mile. The ones who don't go that extra mile will be part of that list of 3,000 uh, institutions.